another edition of Northern Heat. And this week, our special guest, well, actually, we have two special guests. <laughs> Brian Kenny is with us, and uh, I'm lucky enough to have my two-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter with me today co-hosting this uh, uh, this event. So welcome, Brian. Hey, how are you doing today? You? I'm great. Thank you. Good. Winter's almost over. <laughs> Winter's almost over. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Winter's almost over. Listen, one of the things we wanted to talk today on, uh, on this uh, report is the fact that uh, What's life been after being a politician? Well, I tell you, Bob, I had a great run of 17 years as MLA for Bathurst, West Beresford. I met so many great people along the, the journey as uh, becoming the MLA back in 2003. But I tell you, with COVID and everything going on right now, I'm really happy that I made the choice to turn the page after 17 years. And life has been really good, considering what's what the world is up against right now with with COVID-19 and uh, it's really nice to get back and trying to relate, uh, you know, catch up with friends and family and so on. But with COVID in the mix, it's, you know, the ambitions of trying to, uh, you know, catch up with friends uh, really hasn't worked <laughs> that well. <laughs> no, it's been a completely different, uh, different ball game. And, and, you know, you don't have the, uh, that uh, the social aspect isn't around anymore that we used to have before, especially with you. You know, you want to play in bands and stuff. Have you played any music since? Uh... Uh, I do have a couple of guitars here, and uh, I'm trying to practice a little bit once in a while, but I haven't really had much, so much time to be able to play guitar uh, since I've got out of politics. Uh, my fingers are a little rusty, and um, with COVID, you know, I played, I think, two or three times in small uh, venues here. We played at the 13 Barrels one time for Halloween. That was fun. But uh, really, I've been so busy since uh, leaving politics that I really haven't had a whole lot of time to pick up the guitar. So let's uh, let's uh, talk about something that kind of links into this little one being with me here today. And it's the fact that, uh, you know, big thing is, is that nobody can travel and, and uh, you know, you can't uh, see your loved ones. And, and I'm very fortunate. My son and my daughter are here and I get to see these little ones all the time. And... Uh, but uh, your life has changed too, right? Because uh, both of your daughters were, well, one of them at least was scheduled to be uh, away. And then uh, because of COVID, she came back home and now uh, they're a little bit of a surprise, right? Going to be closer to you. Well, you, you never know what's going to happen in life. So you, you, on the journey of where you want to go and you have some ambition. So my ambition for my, my youngest daughter was she graduated from university uh, at, at Renaissance College at, at UNB. And she was on her way uh, to teach. I uh, had a teaching job in Prague, uh, Czechoslovakia, one of the most beautiful cities on earth. And uh, when she arrived in London at the airport, she got a call from uh, the school where she was going to teach saying, you better go back home to Canada because the Prague border or the Czech border was closed due to COVID. So her plans to go over there and, and enjoy, uh, you know, in this beautiful city uh, was all changed because of COVID. And so the blessing of it, I guess, is that she's home now here in Bathurst and uh, she's actually coming to work with me and, and work on some projects together. So those are some of the positive things that, you know, she's closer to home rather than another, on the other part of the ocean. And uh, my other daughter's in, in Lunenburg, uh, Nova Scotia. She's also teaching too. So she's, um, she graduated from university, but we, we, we chat via Zoom and via Facebook and... But at uh, least in Atlantic Canada, you know, we have a chance that, you know, when we're not into uh, uh, lockdowns or whatever, but, you know, all through the summer we had the uh, the bubble and I'm sure that that hopefully that gets back into, into place. But the, uh, you know, we're, uh, I don't know if, if you think this way, but we're pretty fortunate to be able to have them close to us and... and uh, and it's an experience that I know a lot of people, a lot of friends that I have don't have. And, uh, you know, you don't have any grandchildren yet, but I tell you, I'm really happy the fact that I can uh, be with this little one here. And, and uh, you know, she can be part of this today. You want to say wave to Brian? Hey, wave uh, to him. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Yeah. So Madison's going to uh, going to be working. I see that she's already bought a house, too. So, uh that was a lot, of, a lot of moving parts in uh, Madison's life right now. Uh, she, she bought an older home and that she's going to renovate. And we're really uh, excited for that little project. Uh, not far from 
from from here and uh it's you know she whether she's going to stay in Bathurst in the next couple of years who knows what's going to happen yeah. due to COVID and so on but we're playing it uh one day at a time and very excited about that so for her to um take a look and taking a chance and buying some real estate in, in in Bathurst and one of the positive things I think that we're here in New Brunswick in, in particular but specifically in the Bathurst or Chaleur region is that it has affected a lot of people COVID no doubt it's not you know business as usual but we've been very very fortunate like anybody that's looking at you know somewhere to be safe is New Brunswick is is Bathurst in, in the in the area here we we've been very fortunate that we've you know been quite safe um, in my case, I've been just so busy d doing so many things. I built, and right now I'm building some houses in our subdivision in Squire Green, and we sold two. I've sold two homes in the last two months, and I'm getting a, a ton of calls from outside the area looking to come. There are people that are buying houses, buying properties in our area, sight unseen through the internet because they know it's a safe place to be, and it's a great place to live. Like, I don't care what anybody says. We don't have the big metropolitan areas unless you really want to live in that area, but it's not that hard to pick up and visit. And as, as you both know, uh, you know, Bob, you've been fortunate to be able to travel all over the world. I've, I've been fortunate to be able to visit areas. It's nice to visit, but may not be the nicest place in my mind to live. And I think we have a paradise here. I think we, we need to let the rest of the world know that this is a really good place to live. Well, I know Brian. I've traveled with you before, and you're uh, you've always great, been a great uh, ambassador for our area and talking about it. And I do the same thing whenever I go out there. You're absolutely right. We have a great place to live, and people are starting to recognize it, and they're starting to recognize that we're safe. You know, COVID has hit a lot of people. Unfortunately, you know, some a lot more than others. But again, there's there's always a silver lining somewhere along the line if you look at it a little bit, and the fact that our place is safe and the other people are starting to know it. I think that's one of the keys. So, you know, I want to thank you very much for being uh, being out there and talking about this. I'm, I'm glad and, and pleased that uh, you're able to bring one of your daughters home. And, and uh, it's uh, it's a treat. Uh, you know, I don't know how she'll manage working with you. But anyways, that's <laughs> all together. She's going to learn that on her own. My son did the same thing. Well, so, so far, I haven't had anything thrown at me uh, so far. We've had a lot, of, a lot of laughs and we're working together and I'm, I'm really, really excited for her. I'm glad that she's home. And I'm glad that she's working, uh, working with me. We've got a lot of projects on the go and I'm really looking forward to the summer and uh, stay tuned. Yeah, we will. So again, thank you very much for uh, being on the Northern Heat Report with me this week. And uh, we might bring Madison in uh, somewhere along the line to talk a little bit about how she's making out working with dad. <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks, Bob. All right. Congratulations on all the work you're doing too. And, and bye. Bye. Let's bye. wave. Say bye to Ryan. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See? That worked out. That was Ryan, easy. Because you're saying bye to Brian? Yeah. <laughs>